Okay, Kenny Armando, so glad you're here today at uh yes. at baby at Babies and Babies, where we're gonna give you a baby today. So um Armando you like that should have been in Spanish. Oh but, yo, okay, okay, Kenny, doesn't have Ninos well, y Ninos. Well, you don't really read Spanish, I've heard very well, Kenny. So mm, Okay. Yeah, um yeah, this is my Armando voice. It sounds like things like Armando, but anyway, I'm gonna go Yeah, we're here to look at uh potential. You sound butch, Armando. Poten- but yeah, mm. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We're here to look at potential, um, potential, potential ladies, potential ladies for our babies. Well, mm-hmm. we hear it, babies, babies, and more babies. Uh, we let's see the girls. Let's, let's, let's see okay. the bring on the let's, ladies. Okay, the, this this first never thought one, I'd be doing this. Boy, boy, you said that, said that. So this first lady, she is. Known mm. as Angelique because she's an angel on earth. She's stunningly mm. gorgeous. People think next. she's the most oh, okay. Uh, next, this, this next woman, her name is uh, Francesca. She's an Italian goddess. In fact, mm. some people think she's sculpted from Michelangelo. She's Angelo's. different looking. Yes, she's different what looking. What the, next, oh, like her, oh okay. Um, and this next one, next. No, okay. Oh, I like this one. This ne- one's really. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Well, we have one more. I usually don't pass. Okay. Okay. This next one. Wait. Before you say anything, usually when I show you, she's her- pretty. Yes. Keep yes. her. Okay. Great. 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 Usually, I got one more for you. She is known. Next. As the- okay. Uh, How many we have? I, uh, I only. You have just showed two. us a lot of weird looking girls. Um. Can they Lizzie- look like my kids? Lizzie, I think we're gonna need the backup file. If you could just send that up front, please. Can we do this where we just critique their features? That would be fun. I'm just going to go with whatever he says. Hello, this is Captain Poodle speaking. Are you ready to find love? That's a boy, matey. Love. Exciting and new. Go online. Hmm. They're catfishing you. Shocker. Fiance. Soon you'll be flying to parts unknown. 90 day Beyonce. Marrying someone you only met on your phone. Be they French or Chinese, a brand new K1 visa's the key. Ooh, the key to what, Poodle? To love. It's reality. Yes, let's love. <laughs> <laughs> this was so wonderfully bitchy. And the thing about it is, Ken- Kenny is not this kind of person. But when you're when you're at when you ask two gay men to rate people's looks, we they're just, gonna do what comes natural. Do, I I'm gonna tell you this right now. You're right. Kenny is not this type of person. No, we, I am not this type of person. You, I'm this type of person. You are this type of person. That said, though, we both just did a bi curious of naked attraction, and this is exactly how we rated dicks. We rated dicks this way. <laughs> this is exactly. <laughs> I don't think I. I did say at one point. I did scream pass. You did um, say pass at yeah. a penis. You did. T- <laughs> <laughs> and I did, but however, I was positive in some ways. Where I said, I think I'd like to meet that penis. <laughs> you did say that. Mm-hmm. You said that looks like a that looks like a, um, a penis I'd want to know or something like penis, that. You said that looks like a penis, a, an obstinate penis. Oh, and- there were there were definitely entitled penises. One was sticking up so high, you could tell one stuck up so high it would be a very aloof, a very aloof penis. But no, uh, these these queens were just bebopping and scatting on these I, pictures of women. They're like I, mm, weird. I would be the, I would be that one's same. a weird eye. I would be the same. I would I'm too. Y'all don't give gay men a chance <laughs> <laughs> to opine <laughs> about people's features. <laughs> it's like something genetic in us. We just need to say she's a six. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we do it. We have to. Anyway, this is toe. This is motherfucking toe. This is toe. 
Season five, episode 16. What's this called, Poots? Fuller House. Never watch that you on Netflix. Look. Heard it's cute, but I never wear it. I would never watch Isn't it. Isn't it weird? That's the actual name of a show. I wonder if they checked yeah. that out. <laughs> I wonder if they checked it out. Yeah, Netflix could sue them. <laughs> I, Probably someone didn't think of that. They, they they rushed into production so fast it didn't go through no, the normal I, vetting. I wanted to watch it, but after Bob Saget died, just thinks if a, it feels sad, and also I don't re, I don't think I can. I tried to watch the first. I can't watch Candace. What's her name? Oh, she's such anymore. a fucking awful fundy. She's a she's such um, a horrible person. I well, I also what's striking is that Jody Sweeten is mm. kind of playing the same way she played the child as an adult. <laughs> and I enjoy that. She's I love that. I love her. She's got a great Instagram. I feel like I feel like Stephanie may have grown up differently. <laughs> because her life in real life, she overcame a meth addiction. She did. I'm just saying she plays Stephanie like an eight-year-old. Like even they though do. she's an adult. They do. <laughs> they do. I mean, it's not bad. I don't know. They don't do it. They did the same with 90210 when they tried to do it and they knew people and the people just acted the same. Whereas I'm like, make this real, make it like nine, four, seven, two, three. And they all moved to fucking Sherman Oaks. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Oh. Y'all I am in, I am in Santa Barbara. I'm still living my white woman fantasy. Your I grandma would, flowing oh, caftans. I would be beach. drinking. Uh, a Chardonnay right now, but uh, it's it's well, it's it's noon now. It just turned noon. I'm still having a coffee. I'm gonna go out a little early. It's gonna be windy today, so I've got my <laughs> wind hat on, um, and I'm gonna go to the beach, do a little meditation. I'm excited. I don't know if it's possible. This has made you even more insufferable. Oh, um, it's yeah. probably my last week because my neighbor's construction is getting done on their apartment. So, hopefully I'm in there by Halloween. The entitlement to have a spare guest house in Santa Barbara to use whenever you'd like. No, they're not here because uh, her stepdad, who worked hard his whole life, got a crippling uh, throat cancer and now has to be on a feeding tube at his house next to his doctor's in Los Angeles. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of sad. There's all like their mementos in this house. And he's so, anyway, it's sad, but it's happy. I, you know, I'm not thinking about that because I'm drinking rosé and Chardonnay in Santa Barbara. It does look like the house is just like filled with pictures of There's mementos, happy everywhere. time. Yes. And I was, I couldn't work in his office because literally he, he was an attorney, used his voice into public defendant and all this stuff. There's all these books and plaques and everything it just makes you think y'all it doesn't give a shit what you're doing now it doesn't give a shit because it all could be gone tomorrow so live in the day and ride that dick <laughs> there you go <laughs> live in the day and ride that dick put it on a shirt <laughs> ride that metaphorical dick till the wheels fall off yes yes or might, ride the real dick because you might not be able to ride that dick tomorrow <laughs> Yeah. None of us are promised dicks. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> anyway, you know what? I wow. What is, what is inspiring to me is so I. I know they get on people's nerves. We're going to talk about Shekinah and Sarper, <laughs> and a lot of people are hating them. I kind of love watching them, even though they're both just clowns. But it, oh, it almost, I can't get enough. It's kind of the same way of – it's on my mind because we've been watching it to prepare for it dropping in November 3rd. But it's kind of like watching Selling Sunset. Like it just feels like – but they're not really good at play acting and the fake acting because right. Sarper calls her a bitch uh, <laughs> or whatever he well, says. Well, he went, no, because you're a – you're such a uh, – oh, what did he say? Slut was, was it Was it slut first or – or bitch, or he, he went, he, he went, he went, whore, or whore? something like that. Like he was like, <laughs> what is English word? <laughs> oh. 
That's why I enjoy watching. So we are looking up something that Poodle wants to show me. So I was looking up and I found their Instagram, but they are on Cameo. Both of them? Mm -hmm. And this is on their Shekinah Sarper 90 day account. Oh, there's one of those. Well, yes, because we see now she solved the problem by if you're not going to post a picture of me on your individual Instagram, we'll just make a joint one. And that's where we can post pictures of just us making out, which is what they've done, (laughs) which is (laughs) stupid. But um, on the thing, it says Shekinah and Sarper, the season toe, toe season lovebirds joint account. And then... Uh, which I don't even know if he's. I'll see. Love his, birds. His account, and by the way, his account of him uh, is now private. So interesting. So he's not even posting. It's now private. Um, but anyway, uh, it also says under it: two Scorpios born on the same exact day. Hashtag twin flames. Twin flame. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to be Twin Flames before you said it. I don't think that's the flex that they think it is. <laughs> he might be good in bed if he's a Scorpio, though. They like to fuck. Oh, no, they're fucking Sun Scorpios. <sighs> My astrology says that's who I have the best sexual compatibility with Scorpios. And I actually don't knowingly know if I've been with a Scorpio. My father's a Scorpio. I'm not going to fuck your dad. Friend, Mm. friend, you like this, friend? Friend, this feel good, (laughs) friend? Not going to do that. But that makes sense because your mom, when she was younger, was freaky deaky like you. (laughs) Yes. Um, What is your mother? I don't know. I I can't say Scorpios are – I don't think – I haven't had terrible experiences. Um, They're not the best people for me, I find. Mm. Um. I, I get along with them, though. Uh, in relationships, it's not really great. What's your yeah. mom's astrology? Uh, she is um, June. I always forget. Is she? She's uh, cancer. She's, I bet she's, she's a cancer. No, she's June 16th, which is that Gemini? It Maybe. That would explain a, f- a whole fucking lot. I always forget what she is. She's a Gemini. Yeah. Mom is a Gemini. Yeah. Uh, sissies just went, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> I'm not coming for Gemini's. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. <laughs> coming from other poodle. Uh, oh, anyway. no, it's, yeah, it's, uh, I think I, I'm a Scorpio moon, which is a kind of a different kind of thing, but, but yeah, it's a different thing. Yeah. Um, y'all. So we brought it up, but selling sunset season seven on November 3rd. We just, uh, we're, I've watched, I think, the up at episode eight. You've watched episode six, but yeah. uh, the, y'all, this season is good. It's messy. It's better than last season. Yeah, we can't I liked say, it a lot better than last season. We can't season. say a lot yet because we can't, we're under, uh, we appreciate our relationship. Embargo rules. But we're really enjoying it. Uh, it. We're super happy with it. Also, speaking of, because we're going to try to do something with them after Selling Sunset is done, because they watch the show too, but check out our collab on their feed of uh, the Justine and Natasha. Two, back, two black girls, one rose. Mm-hmm. What did I say? I said two black girls, one. Uh, what did I say on the episode? Instead of rose, I said, I said one hole. That's what I said. Remember when riveting. I said that? Yeah, riveting. It's great to <laughs> replay <laughs> jokes and you can't remember what they are. <laughs> it was very Freudian. I wasn't thinking about <clears throat> when I said "ho," I wasn't thinking about Justine and Natasha. I was thinking about something else. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm, we, maybe I'm gonna go to a yacht party later in Santa Barbara. I did uh, get invited to a yacht party, actually. Those things don't ends end up in frenzied sex fests. Sex fests, you know I that, right? So no, and I couldn't <laughs> go to the yacht party because I'm already going to an event. But I got invited. God, you're just whoa. oh, I loved it. <laughs> Yacht parties, mm-hmm. events. Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> what a stereotype! I, I don't Yuck. know. It's well, uh, we're gonna have to. T- I'm going with my friend. We're gonna talk about it at, at Mimosa Brunch later. Of course. Uh, don't forget to wear your jewelry. So that is so funny. You said that I was oh, shot no. looking on State Street, and I thought, what? 
have thought to start wearing rings. <laughs> <laughs> Like pinky I can't, rings, like like my Uncle lots Andy. of rings. I kind of want to wear a pinky ring, like my uncle Andy did. We we need to have a conversation about this new phase of your life and how it's not working for me <laughs> <laughs> or know. our brand. I just think like like when I go to Italy, I'm thinking I might like I would get, might get some jewelry there. They have a lot of gold, so maybe and I like gold, so maybe I'll I'll just get, absolutely get, not. Like, no, I'm gonna put a getting, I'm gonna put a stop to this right now. No, I want to get like a gold bracelet. Oh, oh no, yeah. no, we're yes, not doing this. I am. I'm getting. I've already decided in Italy. I'm very excited. And come back with you'll lose it. Rings. I saw it was on the plane the other day, and this queen had a ring because I was sitting by this woman who actually has a son, really hot, who lives in Santa Barbara, straight. But anyway, she's paying for his divorce, and she was telling me all about paying for his divorce. But she works in finance for J.P. Morgan, and so I was talking to her about that. Well, this other little someone queen, else with money. <laughs> We were in a, we were in a, no, she, well, for them, she didn't have, so she doesn't have any money because her husband left her 20 years ago and she's still supporting her son divorce because he got, he's an artist. And I'm like, how uh, your okay, son? can we fast forward through all this? Anyway, I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> there was another queen on the, on the flight, uh, who was working away and I, and he had like a ring, he had several gold rings and jewelry and he had one ring and it was like. Kind of like when remember people used to wear a toe ring, like men would. And it was oh, like, it that was, was a like, really bad fad. Oh, Ugh. I I loved mine. I had mine for like a month, and then I lost it, and then I didn't buy another. That's what will happen to this bracelet. And so uh, you don't know my life, but uh, mm. he had a ring, and it sat not down at the not the base of his finger. It it, it fit right in towards kind of like the middle of his finger, like a middle ring. I thought that was cute. You'd anyway, be annoyed by it. Ta- I was taught I complimented him on his jewelry. I said, I love your jewelry. Come to find out he works in finance too. And they ended up exchanging information. Riveting. Right. It, it was great. <laughs> It was great. I told them they all need to try the new Sarah Jessica Parker Sauvignon Blanc that they were serving on the plane, and they loved it. I, if I would have been there, I would have said, "Can a mountain just rise up out of the out of the ocean and put us all out of our misery?" <laughs> I would, maybe I, I would have deafened myself so I couldn't hear it, but then I could see, I could still see you gesticulating wildly. <laughs> And so I'd have to like knock myself out by hitting the the fuselage. Yeah. yeah. She did not understand what I did for a living. I explained it three times. <laughs> I wear I wear an aura ring. That's but that's but it's to help me sleep better. I lost mine, but we're that's, trying to get them to be a sponsor, so I want a free ring. The irony of 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 me not sleeping these days but wearing my aura ring. It's true. My aura ring now just goes I wake up and it's like are you satisfied with yourself? <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? You wake or, up or in- girl, girl, you gotta do better. How about you take it easy today? <laughs> the app you just pop that and it just says "really" with three question marks, <laughs> <laughs> or it'll say, oh, "Take it slow today." Take, take it, slow. it slow today, you fucking loser! <laughs> wow. It won't say that, but that's that I fill in the blanks. We fill in the blanks. Any other uh, talk about selling sunset? Uh, love to see it. We're going to be doing a collab with Game of Roses, actually. Um, yes, this so for upcoming Golden Bachelor, week, I believe. Um, Can we find out Golden Bachelor is only going to be y'all if you're in eight this episodes? Year, like, only eight episodes. So Ocho. We love talking about it and watching it. Um. So y'all, let's let's move on. Uh. Don't know if we're going to do it next season, though, because it's really hard for us to get screeners. Yeah, I think that's our schedule. But we like doing it. I think that's the problem, because unlike shows that just do Bachelor, they don't do seven other fucking shows. So we we can't we can't. There there are certain days we're trying not to work. And one of those days is Friday and Saturday. So it's not our week is so front loaded because we work a lot on Sundays. So, yeah. um, Anyway. Y'all don't give a shit. If you know someone who works at The Bachelor, though, let them know. We got two. If they want us to cover The Golden Bachelorette and give them free marketing. Or what's his name? Early. Robert, or what's his name? We're trying we to. Fo- yeah, they're Robert, the executive producer we follow. But yeah, I don't Tweet him and say, hey, 
Give those hey, queens, give, give those queens, queens screeners. <laughs> We're whatever. Uh, no one anyway, knows who we are? It's fine. Brandan and Mary. Yeah, um, I don't think, do we have any more? No, 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 we didn't. I'm oh. just trying to plow through. <laughs> what is it? What if? if, if, if are you going to announce? Because you said this on Selling Sunset, but oh, we are stuffed. You're getting on in in September. You were fully loaded. In October, yeah, well, you, you were hand tossed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In November, because of Thanksgiving, you're getting stuffed and basted. <laughs> stuffed. <laughs> you and get basted. it? Like basted with cum. <laughs> I still don't like it. I'm fine with it until you talk about basting with semen. That's it's happening. It it's happening. Get into it because it's happening. Well, if I want to have to hear it all November, you're going to be roasted and ghosted in December because I'm going to be out. <laughs> well, that would that would you're, you're you're taking most of November off like a European. I am. So, I am yeah. gone for a week and a half for Italy. Y'all, Poodle's going to have all these subs coming up. Not not subs, <laughs> <laughs> but people. Uh, I'm having subs, and people are guesting on the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have some guests. I'll be go. Up. I'll be buying that gold jewelry while you and Mary Payne or Wall are talking about this shit show. How lovely for you! Or I'm, I'm exactly. I'm really happy for you to go to uh to go on a vacation. Thank you. It's I, nice to I take. It. You took two this year. I haven't had one yet. Well, I had you, surgery. You, you laying on your back after surgery is technically a vacation. It is not. I was here. I can't believe that you have surgery. You, I'm trying to encourage Poodle to go, and he won't take one. I am taking one. I'm. I'm going. You can't take one at Christmas. No one where you don't work at all. Oh, you can't go at Christmas because you go I'm, home. I'm going to Hawaii for Thanksgiving. But That's we're official. not off. Well, we're going to be. But I'm doing things ahead of time. Oh well, good. So you are going. Who are you going with? Your mom, your dad, uh, with a certain traveling companion. Okay, well, good. I'm glad. I didn't know that was official. Yeah, y'all. Do you know when you have that friend of his who won't let things go, and then they just get run down into the ground? That's I don't good. know who you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm getting things that, done. Oh, uh, I, it my, I, there may be there may not be a couple. Not not everything's going to air that week. Because Golden Bachelor, I think, will be done by Thanksgiving. Oh yeah, um, helpful. And Thursday, I don't know. If, I don't know if Love After Lockup is going to air um, on the Friday after Thanksgiving. Usually, those are holiday. Maybe they will. I don't know. Maybe they will. Uh, we could. There also won't be. Though, there won't be a class list that week. Maybe Love of After Lockup that week. We'll maybe we'll skip a week and then just talk about two shows or something when I come back or something like that. We'll work it out. It's you a, know, we need to a, not do this on the podcast. Agreed, which is why I was trying to get us into talking about the show. <laughs> Brandon and Mary. Um, Brandary. We are looking for wedding clothing for both of them. This is like one of those combo Filipino version of like tuxes and dresses or his and hers or, or uh and How long did they follow them around? Because she's six months pregnant, y'all. Okay, time, there's been a time there has is changed. Time, times have changed. He buzzed his hair, and his hair has grown back again. Oh, it is so much better. It's a lot less Heaven's Gate, as yeah, I called it before, yeah, where all he needs is those like black t sneakers just to get taken up by Hale Bop. Mm -hmm. Um, he uh, he, she's like. It's trying on like a the fuchsia jacket or the purple jacket, and she's like, "White would look better on you." And I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. He's he's already white. Yeah, it would not look better. She's trying on the dress, and she just wanted to see him. And they're like, they're shop, they're shopping. He's like, "Can we afford this? It's one hundred fifty two dollars." And this is why he is always the one fretting about can we afford it but she's always the one saying yeah remember those i bought a bunch of cell phones online from manila and we're just selling them here <laughs> she's the one who always has a side hustle going is i i wrote when she said they're selling cell phones i went is this like when jihoon was selling cell phones <laughs> no i think he was he wound up selling they were stolen 
Um, Where is she getting these phones? All I know is she said she bought them. All I know is at least they're making money somehow. She gets eighteen dollars a phone. Yeah, that's a per, lot profit. better. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot better than what they were getting before. They when they were trying to go to Costco and buy chips. <laughs> And he is he is still he is better, but he is still playing video games a lot. But otherwise, he's doing better. And I wrote, he's playing the video game because he just wants to walk off a pier and never come back again. This I guy really, wants to check out of life so much. I'm I wonder if intense therapy and definitely medication would help. Um, I think medication for I think when you probably a lot of people don't re, you know. <clears throat> I'm not a doctor, so I could be saying this wrong, but just a little bit. And we don't really study the science of brains and stuff like that in school. But I do know that environmental factors and trauma can change the brain chemistry of somebody. And I can't imagine someone who's gone through all of what he has gone through has to be medicated probably for the rest of yeah. for a long time or the rest, just to, to get his brain to function in a, a healthy way for him. Well, he needs a different one. Well, it because it, it ain't, ain't a working. working. <laughs> I was that is y'all. That's from Sorted Lies. I just Leslie Jordan's Instagram account messaged me and at, and invited me to go to Palm Springs because he got a star and I Name couldn't dropper. go, but I thought that was so sweet. <laughs> no. Leslie Jordan, that's where the quote's from, that movie. I'm aware. I just called you I name dropper. I wasn't name dropping. <laughs> <sighs> Yet you, oh, never mind. I I mentioned, you All You actually, these- you brought up, you you brought up people and I said, oh, I know them. But when you, when you, you drop names all the time. No. You, you initiated I, it. You didn't say I knew them. You went, oh, yeah, he's been in my house. And I went. So? Oh. I don't bring up the name. That's a name dropper. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so they, um, he's like, can we just make the wedding like simpler? She's like, and I went, okay, bro, lay off of this bitch. She wants the wedding. You need to step off. If you, Let her have the wedding. You. This is not like- good. You've got to look at that stank face for the rest of your <laughs> life. Just get used to it. I liked it. Even even trying on her wedding dress, it still yeah. it still just looks so angry. Um, I got to say, I, I don't think it's anything personally she's done, but I really, I don't really like Mary. And I think it's just because she just, her face is she's just She's mean mugging you the whole fucking time. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't like her too, because she's also, she's insane. <laughs> She uh, has untreated mental illness and there, she, and she weaponizes and, and, and a lot of trauma, cool. yes. and yeah, and like and it, the uh, the worst part of it though, she's a lot more functioning than he is, way more fun, and she has to be because she, she has, has to, to survive, yeah. and and to me, to me, that's less treatable in a weird way. That's why I think she's a kind of a she'll fly under the radar. Uh, for a long time. Yeah. yeah. So Oof. his mom's coming for the wedding and we know she's not a big fan of Mary's and the feeling no. is mutual. But it makes sense. Now he tells, it's interesting. He worries about his, that's what's creepy is that Brandon already is like, Oh, worry about my mom. You know, she's recovering. So he's not only worried about his wife and his mom getting along. He's worried about his, his mother wife, relapsing his. Yes. His yes, his mother relapsing because she's triggered by his fiance's stank face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a and, lot of pressure. And the money to to support his family. Um and the fact they have a baby on the way. What are you doing? Sorry. I just I was moving my my hand got tied up in my headphone cords and then it pulled my ear and then I went almost pulled out and I was all I was all tangled in my headphone cord. I'm so sorry. Anyway, what I was saying is this kid's life is a minefield. It's a minefield. There's no and, and you're I right. just don't kids. I don't see it's a kid. they're both kids. <sighs> and so you know, if, when I first wanted to when I first watched this I went or what is your thought? Okay. Well, we're going to talk. Oh, let's actually get to the mom first. But what did you think about them uh, 
frog hunting because when he first got to the Philippines, Mary's grandmother, Lola, or Lulu, Lola, made, Lola, um, her name was Lola. She made him frog legs. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was chicken. It wasn't, and he loved it. And so they're going to play the same prank on his mother. And I went to who's a, who are worried about who's who he's worried about relapsing. <laughs> <laughs> Not the right moment. <laughs> you know, she's a prankster too. She'll be fine. It's like how um, all those movies with like George Clooney and the, those stars and like. George Clooney loved to play, play play pranks. I'm always like, good God, grow the fuck up on movie sets. Oh, they're such pranksters. Oh, no, I love that. That's a kind of, that's my dream. I'd love to be in a movie and we all just hang out and we're friends and they play pranks on me. I play pranks on them and then we laugh about it. And then when we're doing publicity, we just laugh about what a good time we had. And then like, you know, 10 years later, I'm going to their kid's graduation. They'd never I'm, speak to you again. Oh. Because well, you're I, not straight and you're not in their prank boys club. Sorry. So sorry that was poodle. sorry that got real, but this it's true. Triggers poodle. Yeah, I just think it's a gross boys club. They never grew up. But he so pranked dumb. Julia Roberts. C- come on. Okay, fine. I wanted to be part of the Ocean's Eleven Club. Are you happy? There we go. I wanted to be in it. You are, you're that basic. <laughs> yes. So they are. Have you ever had frog legs? Have you ever eaten frog legs? We used to long used time to, ago at Two Frogs. They would sell it. Two frogs. We used to catch That's them. The, oh, and my father, my them. father would skin them. That's yep. fucking country. <laughs> it was. You go frog gigging. Shit. You actually you take gigging. a yeah. frog gigging. It's a, yeah, it's like a little trident. Yes, right? it is a trident. Like a little, mm-hmm. I never. I only saw them at my people at my friend's house. That were really like, because I was more of a suburb kid. Yeah, you were a city kid. God, that's what we call that. God, mm-hmm. you, you were just walking around barefoot f- hunting for frogs, weren't you? You know what? Built character. What What did it build? Uh, I don't know. Just well, that, know I'll be able to, that I'll be able to talk about it. This makes sense now. Because when I think about, you're not, it's not necessarily... You don't have like a gig. You don't have a trident. However, you do look for dick probably very similar ways. <laughs> you're barefoot. <laughs> it's dark. You're just yeah. walking around going. With yeah, a flashlight. Yeah, with a flashlight. Mm, yep. Mm, yep. <laughs> yep. And the same way they wink their eyes at you. <laughs> I, my con- They do wink their eyes, except for the so one eye. My mm-hmm. concern would be I would. Of course, they're usually not out at night, but I would be, uh, I would be, because of my mother, terrified. No, you have to be out at night. No, you, the, I, I would be terrified of snakes. Snakes not normally out at oh. night. I would be terrified. Did you ever see snakes? Yeah, but they're like underneath the surface and like water snakes aren't going to bother you. Well, we have water moccasins. So do home. we. But like at night, but they're snakes the are like, normally. yeah. It's You're fine. My mother, you wear long pants. It's because my mother is terrified of snakes. My brother and I both. I'm glad you you've accepted that. Yeah. Your parents didn't have a fear about something, and they passed it along to you. Hmm. They weren't afraid of a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of irrational fears passed down. I have my own. I have my own of balloons and uh uh what else? I don't really. I'm not afraid of a lot of things like. I don't like roaches, um, but like critters and creepy crawlies, not really. Yeah, you're great with moths. <laughs> when it flew in my head. <laughs> that's the only thing. I don't like anything that's flying right at my face. Well, you like one thing. Yeah, true. Uh, anyway, she wants to make sure. Mary's like, I just want to make sure you're going to be on my side. <laughs> So basically, Mary is creating my side and your mom's side. And, and the Brand- only acceptable yeah. one is my side. And Brandon doesn't see mom's side. Because y'all, when look, mom is not serving any type of, she's civil and that's it. But no niceties. No. And at first I went, come, I, I wanted to ask you, what is your opinion? Because a part of me wanted to be like, mom, come on, just bite the bullet. 
because he's already moved over here. She's right. pregnant. Like, what are you going to do? But another part of me went, but you were on the other. Like, he, she completely took him out of your life. And she, you saw him literally, you saw her literally mentally abuse him. Like, verbally I think, abuse him. Like, what do you say? I think this is the, I think she's come to fight for her son. Because that's where, that's what she witnessed. Was her... Mary disconnecting him from family members. Do you all think other she women. Would even tell him just leave her with the baby. Oh yeah, I think she would too. Yeah, I think, I think regardless of, she sees this as this woman. She says it later. She says, um, uh, she is ruining. She's making my son's life a living hell. And I, I yeah. really think that is the way she feels about it. So yeah. I think she's gonna run. She's gonna try to cause. This mayhem. is a lifetime movie of her, not without my Brandon. <clears throat> my Brandan, not without my Brandan. Brandan. Uh, she says. Um, Mom says I wasn't prepared for all the poverty, and the shacks. <laughs> uh, Didn't know I would get the poverty tour from the airport to here. Yeah, so I mean, apparently though they did not pick her up at the airport, and I was like, "How does this woman does not does not know the language? She doesn't speak Tagalog." They just gave her the address and had she had to figure it out. Uh, anyway, so they Brandon see her. Did tell his mother that Mary is pregnant too. By the way, King me. So, um, Anyway, she arrives. Mary immediately has just instant stank face. And then she has the nerve to say, the mom's looking at me like a mean girl. And I went, seriously? Look seriously? in the mirror. <laughs> I bitch. wrote, I literally wrote, this bitch. <sighs> oh. And then the mother said, well, I'm going to say what I need to say. So we're going to wait for that. I... Uh, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. <sighs> Shekinah and Sarper. Um, <laughs> the next day, she's visiting the sister at the hotel, and I wrote down, uh, Shariah uh, is dressed as uh, doing cosplay of Blossom's friend Six. <laughs> she does look like Six. <laughs> Jenna Von Oy. Jenna, oh. What is she doing now? I, I love don't know. six. I thought she I don't think we so can I don't think pretty. we can promote promote this is oh, strike. Oh shit. <laughs> now I'm going to do it. Wait, yeah, I don't we can't do that either. Although it's not even on anymore, but yeah, you can't. In my opinion, nation, the sun is going to surely shine. I would love for you to play that on the piano and us to sing to it. That would be fun. Come on and walk in the sun for a while. If we ever met Maya Bialik or, jo or Jenna Van Oy, we could just Jenna sing Jenna Van it to Oy, I believe. That's what I said. What's she doing now? Uh, I, again! Stop it! So, you know, Sarper says... He wants another chance because basically he says, uh, you're so cute, but you talk too much. Um, and he says, and, and, Sh and Shekana says, you didn't get to see the side of him that I see. And she's like, I don't think that exists. And, and then I'm glad Shariah said this or Shekana said this. She's like, you were really giving a lot of intense questions. So will you give him another chance? And I mean, right now for you to go to she robot was, yeah. The part I've queued up because we see a little bit of six, aka Shariah's or AKA tattoos, Shirobot. Shirobot's tattoos. Okay. Um, and I want you. One looks like a, it's a figure. One there's like a there's like a tiger or some kind of Asian tiger, and there's one that's just like a picture of like a person, and okay, it says me Mia More underneath it. Look. Um. So I've got okay. a question. Oh, who, oh, who is that oh. person? I, I had a couple oh. of guesses. Um, Does say me and more? It's a very someone in like a, uh, in like oh, I think. I mean, they're very pretty. They're really well done. Um, I disagree. I, <laughs> no, the shading on her shoulder one is pretty. I think. Um, uh. 
I think Mia Mori, maybe it looks to me a lot like Harry Houdini. And maybe that's she, a good guess. I think maybe she thinks she was in a relationship with Harry Houdini in a past life or in a seance. He tried to have sex with her. I thought it was Bella Lugosi, <laughs> the actor who played yeah. Dracula. Yeah. I also thought it looked a little like Oscar Wilde. Yeah, in an interesting way. Oh, no, she's not going to put that She's, up. But no. And then I did. And then I said Susan B. Anthony. Because it looked, you could almost see it was a man or a woman. I, I definitely, if the clothes weren't so 1890s, yes, there, I would think Amelia Earhart. There was the same no, she, kind of, she wore like, pl- she wore men's clothes. But not of the 1890s. Amelia oh, Earhart. Oh, yeah. Was, it's a little yeah. older. I Then I decided, it, it's so, so obvious. American President James K. Polk. <laughs> That's her favorite president. Wow. It only makes it's... sense. You heard it here first. <laughs> Current references <laughs> only. That's what you get on this podcast, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> That's what you get. This is a terrible tattoo. It's a well, terrible maybe... tattoo. But well, maybe it's like a picture of her uh, grandfather or someone in her but family. It's not drawn well. <laughs> it looks a bit cartoonish. I was looking at the ones on her shoulder are pretty. The shading's pretty on that one. I just and it's only on one arm, a, and they're, they're they're all on one arm. It is. I know it's a weird placement. Yeah. That's so, the hard thing about tattoos. It's like you need to get somebody. Not that just gives you a good tattoo, but that designs where they go well on your body. Because mm-hmm. otherwise you end up looking like Moriah on Plathville. And it's yeah. not a good look. And I think, and maybe this is me being holding up, holding too high of a bar for tattoos. And maybe some, some tattoo artists, sissies can come at me. I agree with that. Because I, I know that it stresses you out the fact of just even getting one. I know. But I kind of feel... There should be some type of communication between the art and there should be integration between. I, I would lean more towards that, but I think that's a you thing. I don't think a lot. Of is it? Think, yeah. I don't think people because. But you try, you try to integrate your, your. I think you're too much of an space. artist. I think you're too much of an artist and creative person. You're looking at it through that lens, and I don't think a lot of people look through it through that lens. Well, that's unfortunate. I think that's fine. No, I think some people look at it as like, <laughs> as um, you know, markers of different places they are in their life, and that doesn't always. So there, are, it's a collection of individual um, symbols instead of anything having to do with correlate with one another. Yes, I mean. I understand. If you got a back tattoo, it would say enter. So that mm-hmm. way it made sense for someone. Yeah. I, I and I and I kind of stand that way too. I think I mm-hmm. probably would uh I, I would definitely have like didn't think you'd be here, but since we are, it'd be kind of mm-hmm. long, but I'd put something like that. No dumping. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and then, but the no would be crossed out, y'all. So it would yeah. just say dumping. Let's be real. So, uh, Sarper, the next day, they're meeting the sister for dinner. And he's like, I feel ashamed. Sometimes I can be offensive. And he says, I feel guilty uh, Feels like about an being an asshole. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like an act, though? The way he like he's acting like sad boy. See? I don't think he's that good of an actor. Maybe not. I think I believe him a lot more than I believe either of the sisters. Oh, I do that. Yeah, that's true. I just, I don't know. I don't think he can fake it. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. don't think he can fake it. I do think he's leaning. I think he's that devastated because she's upset with him. He's acting kind of like a, a, like a, like a, uh, her dog. I, I don't think he's devastated. I don't think he's upset. I, I don't think he really gives a shit about what the sister thinks about him, but he does care about what Shekinah thinks about That's him. That's what I'm saying. I don't he doesn't care, care about the sister, but she he knows she's disappointed in him. But I guess what seems fake about he's like, I'm just gonna I am gonna be sorry about this. I bit no one ever asked him because their she robot wasn't programmed this. 
But if she just said, so what are you sorry for? I bet you he wouldn't have an answer. No. No, he's he's saying that because he just feels bad. Yeah. I'm not questioning that he can't verbalize what he's sorry for. I'm saying he it's he feels like shit. Well, she's leaving tomorrow, so he needs to get on the pot. So I wrote, none of these people ever smile. Ever, ever. It was so sad to me that they're all probably smiling in their Instagram pictures. But in life, they're all just looking at each other like this. It's Kardashian. Um, it's what we're, it's what we've been given. It's not great. It's not great. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what's, what's, what makes it funny? That's why it, what makes it funny is it's humorless, (laughs) (laughs) but they don't realize how un, uh, un, like it's, it's not, it's unintentionally funny because they're humorless. They're humorless. And the fact that. You know, he apologizes that I was so offensive and the way he makes it right is says, I will make a post. post. It's hysterical. I went, what? Because I, he said the word post, but my brain didn't even like get to the, my brain couldn't unlock enough to recognize that a post would make everything better from calling someone a bitch and a slut. And it did. But that's the world they live in. They, this was, and you would have thought this was the end of the notebook for her. <laughs> if it ended happy, I haven't seen it. Oh, Spoiler it is sad. Alert. Yeah, well, I think someone sucks. dies. Oh God, I don't want to see that movie now. So anyway, I, I don't think I've ever seen it either. I just like <laughs> I'm taking collective things that I've learned about the movie. We should watch the Notebook. Pass. So I wrote, he's like, and it will stay there forever. I can see, like, if Instagram is trying to, like, shut down ever, and Sarper sends, like, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark, Mark. You, you, you can take away any post, but not this one. This one. And she kind of is like, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And she robot, I wish. She's like, I, mm. she's make, I they really... They really need to put in a sound effect of her just going, blink, 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 God. blink, blink. And for some reason, the botched surgery that she had makes the stank face even worse. Uh, she, it's on a, a level with Mary. Uh, again, I don't know what she's like as a person, but just her continuous stank face makes me, I just going to go, get off my screen. And he's like, I know she loves me and I will protect her and take your advice. Will you take photo of us? And that is the biggest olive branch I've ever heard. So they're letting Shariah take the photo oh, that God. will be there. So ser- it is the most vapid thing possible, but it really yeah. means so much to So them. much to all of them. All of them. So she Speak- robots like, it's better, but he needs growth. We'll see. Speaking of vapid, um, Kim and TJ. <laughs> we can go through this. I'm going to say there wasn't a lot emotionally. that ha- I felt like, are we watching Kimberly and TJ or are we watching a documentary on how Indian weddings work? Well, I think this is it part, was interesting, of, but this it was is just part not- of the Learning Channel's uh, mission, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> This is what a lot of programs on the Learning Channel used to be like. So when they, so when they're to- showing Gino holding up different sizes of vibrators, they're teaching people about vaginism. Yes, okay. that's exactly that's the mission statement. Okay, great. Um, we do want to. I do want to come back with something that we've talked about kind of throughout this season. When he asked Indi- Indian sissies about this, of would you? What's it like for you as an as an Indian, or if you married um, someone who was not Indian, did they understand what was happening? And a lot of our Indian sissies said, a lot of what happens at our wedding, no one fucking understands. It mm. is Sanskrit, which is an ancient language people don't really speak, and it happens so quickly, and the, the priest may, or the... The guy may tell you a little bit about it, but it's ha- it w- goes through fast. And some people, and it's, they said it's it's kind of like a Catholic nuptial mass that might be handled in Latin. 
Mm-hmm. You never – they never did the full nuptial masses in Latin. I've never been to a Latin mass actually. Yeah. But like like a full wedding mass where you, you don't know what's being said and you don't know why things are being done. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, – and and they said sometimes they they get they they talk to you they talk it to you quickly, but you're like you don't understand what's being gone because you don't speak Sanskrit. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> they kind so of TJ's in the same boat. Yes, that's why he he said I don't even have, I know what's going on, and so I think I think a lot of Westerners are approaching this as he should explain everything to her that's going on. He doesn't even know. <laughs> Like I think he knows. I think I think we do we do agree that he could have maybe presented her with this. All I wanted to do. I don't know why they couldn't have had a fucking agenda. A, a wedding in planner. a binder. A, where is this gay? I need a gay Martin Short. <clears throat> yeah. Where is this man coming in and planning a wedding? I will say, TJ is one of those people that he's cute. But then he smiles and his he's smile. He's so just, hot to me. When he smiles, it just lights up my heart. He's he is the hottest so guy. He's the hottest guy on toe for me. I think so too. He's, he's just so smile. hot. His I don't smile know if that's, is so great. I don't know if that's a that's a bit competition. He's one of the hottest, I think. I mean, there's 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 a lot right now going on with hot guys, but um there's, we have Justin from Nikki and Justin. Most, that was just the most general. There's, There's a, a lot going, lot going on. on with hot guys. What does that mean? <laughs> In my life and your life. <laughs> but uh, one thing uh, our other Indian sissies is saying, yeah, bitch could have Googled. This all could have been done mm-hmm. with a Google. And but that, that said, though, <clears throat> not, I don't mean to defend Kimberly. It could be done in a Google, and I, I do think Kimberly wants – she wants it to kind of come from TJ of TJ. Like she wants to feel like they, he's including her in a custom, and, it, it, and he, she doesn't feel that. Mm-hmm. It would be like if you were, if you were in a, in a, a, a man's bedroom – and with two other men and a third show up, like you wouldn't just expect them to know to choke you or to, to, I don't know, call you. Uh, no, they read my rider you know. ahead of time. Exactly. You make yeah. them feel welcome. You do those. Um, <clears throat> I think what, I think what, what most people were clarifying is he knew what was going to happen, but they think it's just better. So she doesn't ask a lot of questions or, just to I do think that part because y'all remember and we're gonna see it some next episode uh he hasn't told her at all yeah what is expected of an Indian wife and I it even though she lived there for a year that's why I go a little bit of fraudacity on this it's but weird that we she Kimberly. hasn't asked any questions. Is it? Think about her. The only thing she seems to ask questions of are the cards. <laughs> See, old TJ is riding a horse. Oh, he and was hot on that horse you, too. Did you notice that, like, with a cousin or someone? It's our family's first big fat wedding, so I assume that's that's their like big big spread. Um, and uh, his parents um uh welcome her parents have to welcome him. And mom like pinches his nose. There are there are a lot of little rituals. Poodle and would hate this wedding. No, I think it's cool. Why why no. would I hate it? You hate everyone's wedding. As you well, said, yeah. no one wants to come to your wedding. But it, this is more like a party. So and you, so you're telling me at 1 30 in the morning when they've got three hours to go, you would still be okay. How drunk am I? I'm going to say that I disagree with you. I think you would barely make it to 945. If oh, I'd started. probably go home. And Because even I, I love weddings. And even I was like, I couldn't do this. I think weddings here are different culturally. Uh, the, the importance of a wedding. This is a family celebration and a community celebration more than a lot of weddings. No, w- it's in a beautiful America. thing. I'm not dissing yeah. it. I think it's a beautiful, great thing. And... <clears throat> At two o'clock, I would have peaced out. 
At 2 a.m., I'm ready to go the fuck home. I would have already fucked two groomsmen <laughs> and yeah. looking for a third. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, they, um, she's in her one of her six dresses. I think she looks really pretty in this last the dress. The red one, and they kind of flat ironed her hair. She looks really good. And she says, and I, she's like, I really wanted one Western tradition. My dad to walk me down the aisle instead of the brothers or the sisters of the groom or something like that. And she said, but I'm annoyed that the other people were walking with me. I'm like, just fucking relax. Well, she was kind of annoyed that they pushed her stepmom to the back. And you just see well, Lisa <laughs> in the back. Just kind of like saying, y'all keep walking. I'm, I'm right behind you. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no, it's, I'm, I'm taking a picture. I'll be right there. I'll, oh, I saw a shop. I'm just going to get a, a souvenir for your Aunt Carol. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm done. I, I guess. I just, I I think, uh, I don't know. I I feel like. I thought she handled this well. Yeah. No, this, 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 she, she finally says, she's like, they have the, she's like, but then I see TJ and it's fine. And he's what I'm doing this for. And I love him. And like, now we're okay. Um, and so they're actually married with the exchange of garlands, but the real rituals happen between 12 and 4 a.m. And those are determined by astrology and birth charts that we, we, we've talked about on Indian matchmaking and things like that. Mm-hmm. Let's see my auntie. And then her father washes his feet. And because he's the god Vishnu at the time. And I read, her parents are such good sports. Oh, they're great. They're sport. up for anything. And I love how they're there to support her. And I'm like, they must really love her. Well, <laughs> her real mom's not. Because her mom don't. Because her mom don't. Uh, and then, uh, and then the, the, the promises they made each other, she's like, I promise to smile. When you smile at me, that I'll smile back. <laughs> Why, why do we have so many women on this show that just give stank face continuously? I, I think she that's, does too. She does. I think, I think it's okay I'm to not, saying not thinking you have to smile all the yeah. time. No, women do not need to fucking smile all the time. No. I think what, when we say stank face, it's just mean mugging. It's mean different mugging, than yeah. that. It's... Yeah. Um, no, it's 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 an active. Your face is participate is is it an active participation to mm-hmm. show everyone else you're not having a good time? Yeah. Um, and then she said, "So they're married, y'all, finally." And and he said, "It started with a text message." She's like, "No, I had it in a dream." Because remember, that's me. I'm clairvoyant. All the voyants. We wish them the best. We wish them the best. Uh, Y'all, we already talked about them a lot, but basically Kenny and Mondo are back in Mexico City. Ciudad de Mexico. They are going to look at, uh, I guess, babies y babies. Um, Niños y niños. That's what it is. Um, Kenny... You know, because Kenny's on board with us now. He's like, it's overwhelming, but I'm a lucky guy. Let's do it. And Armando does say, I'd never dreamed I'd be picking out women. <laughs> um, so they're looking for all these. And Armando even says, he's like, you know, he would say next. And Kenny said, I did. I did say next. And Armando <laughs> said, I said next a lot. Said, next. But Armando said, but you were saying what I was thinking. And Kenny went, I know I was. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. Um, but they did. <laughs> and the woman's working there. She's like, wow, this was really easy. Yeah. <laughs> really easy. She's like, I've handled fags before here. I know. Yeah. I know what's going to be. They're my favorite. Uh, and y'all. And with that, the next thing they're looking for is a what poodle? What? You know. I'm just trying to who's, play. Who's weird? I don't understand what you're saying. Armand, what they, he said the next thing they're looking for is what? You know, I don't know. I'm I just trying to play Lakers basketball here. I'm like Kareem right I don't now, know. running you, up, ba- bouncing the ball, and handing it to Larry Bird for a layup. I don't know who you're talking about, what you're talking about. Armando says the next meeting is with a potential sir. Oh, okay. I did not. I, I think I checked out. Potential. 
Yeah, you had the same look of Mary. You just had stank face, like you were ready to be done. I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> See what I had to put up with, y'all? You, you'd spend a long time talking about people you talk to on planes. <laughs> And their stories, and I don't give a fuck about them. Oh, that's funny. So, you know, oh, it's Sunday. I, you're, I'm so glad you brought that up. That woman said, "I'm going to an art show tonight in Santa Barbara. His art show. I'm going to go look at it." Oh, Jesus. Anyway, what a nightmare to meet people and actually have to interact with them. God. Well, there's going to be wine. I'm going to have some Chardonnay and look at some wine tonight, y'all. All right. I'm and I'll wine have wine drunk all day. Oh, and I'll have a good glow from going on the beach. All right, everybody. You're going to get sun? Well, I put on my sunblock. <laughs> and I, the big hat. Remember, I told you my right. end hat. Mm hmm. So it'll be really, I just like to get a little color on my legs. So when I wear skirts, it doesn't matter. I so gotcha. Yeah. Skorts. Scorch scorts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the show, y'all. That's this week's episode of Toe. Um, go to realitygates.com. That's where you can find everything about us. You can go to our Instagram. You can go uh, to our social media on TikTok, on X, Twitter, whatever. I they need to make a decision about that. Um, I agree. It's awful. It's, it's awful. weird when you say X. Uh, I don't like to say it. Anyway, y'all, um, but we're only on it because the executive producer of The Bachelor is only on X, <laughs> and we cut fucking tweeting him to give us uh, shows early I of The Golden Bachelor. Anyway, he tweets a lot, work. too. We <laughs> I get a notification for a lot every of shows. single one of them. He does a lot of shows. Uh, anyway, y'all, uh, we appreciate y'all so much for listening. We hope that this gave you a little break in the day. And until next time, we call these people Lonely Hearts. Because aren't we all just Lonely Hearts looking for love in all the wrong places, poodle? Yes, and if you have a tattoo of your favorite 19th century American president on your upper arm, made me Millard Fillmore. And send Pit Poodle that picture. <laughs> you can call us. <laughs> <laughs>